Hey everybody, this is Don over at Johnny's Used Cars. Voted the best place to buy a car in Okinawa by the military community of Okinawa. Today I'm sure this 2010 Subaru Impreza uh, wagon. Hard to get that one out. Subaru Impreza wagon. Uh, it's got uh, 76,000 kilometers on it, which is about 47,000 miles. Before we get started, I'd like to let you know that we do have on a lot discounts. So the price you see on our website right now will not be the final price when you come on, on the lot. Also, if you're arriving to Okinawa soon or you just arrived, please make sure you stop by Johnny's Used Cars as soon as you can and have a look around. Even before you get yourself a driver's license, there are benefits of doing it that way. So with that, let's have a look around. I'll show the features inside. But first, I'd like to ask you to please watch the video until the end. I do go over a lot of information in my videos. going to answer a lot of your questions. Things like the JCI, the warranty, the road tax. I cover all that and more. So please bear with me till the end. You have all the answers. If not, please contact me or stop on by. This Impreza wagon is a five passenger vehicle in the 300 series category, so the uh, larger category. Road tax per year is going to be 19,000 yen, which is about $140 right now with the current exchange rate. Road tax is due every April, May time frame. So we're going to take care of the 2024 road tax for you. You won't have to worry about this till next April or May. Now I do have two ways to pay for this. First one being US dollars cash out right, which could get you a larger discount. Or take advantage of 0% financing for 24 months with zero down. Yes, we don't have a down payment requirement, but if you want to put something down and reduce your overall monthly payment, you can. A lot of our customers do like 500 to 1,000. Some do half, some do more. Up to you. Two things before we go outside I want to show you. The first one is the rain guards. Rain guards will allow you to roll your windows down a little bit this way. If it rains, it's not going to get wet inside. More important feature benefit is you get a cross ventilation, get that extremely hot air out. And always get yourself a good windshield visor. The second one, it does have the slots here that if you want to put roof racks or crossbars, very easy to do. So with that, let's jump on this side before I get copyrighted for these passive cars music. All right. So key fobs on your person. And if they have these little uh, tags on there, these metal tags, you want to keep those in a safe place because it'll help you replace these um, replace these uh, key lists or the remotes if you lose them. But you definitely don't want to lose them, okay? So foot on the brake, it is a push start. Push this one time, and it goes. All right, let's sneak this in here. 75,785 on the odometer. Showed a couple of the warning lights. That blue one right there is your temperature uh, gauge. So it's gonna be blue when the engine's cool and it's gonna remain on. Let me uh, turn this radio off. All right, I'm gonna have to do it with the volume. Sorry, Troy. All right, so it's gonna be blue when the engine's cool. It's gonna remain on, that's normal. When it warms up, it's gonna go away, that's normal. And then if it's overheating, that's gonna be uh, red. That's not normal. Be on the lookout for that. That's not good. All right, the one up there, that's your um, your emergency brake. This one is a hand brake. So when you disengage, it goes away. Engage, it comes right back on. And that one, of course, is your seatbelt one. Make sure you wear your seatbelts. They do give tickets on and off base. Other than that, it's a very simple, straightforward, straight ahead instrument cluster. Anything pops up on the dash while you're driving, please pull over, find out what it is, take the necessary action. Anything red on the dash is universally known as bad. Pull over, okay? Uh, off to the left here in the middle of the dash on top, uh, you have a little display that's going to show you the outside temperature and the time. You have your radio. This one does not have a rear camera. Air conditioning controls, little uh, tray here uh, for coins or storage. You have a power outlet. The shifter, it does have an eco button. So if you want to save a little bit of gas, that's where it's going to show up. So we'll leave that on. The handbrake, as I told you about, the cup holders, and you have a center armrest slash console that's going to give you a little extra storage. Continuing to the left, you have your glove box, okay? Is that the, well, no, that's, the, this is for your BCAS, uh, that's for the uh, Japanese TV, okay? Doubt you're gonna use that. So anyway, but you got a little bit of storage and cup holder on each door panel. That is your passenger space over there. You got your red road flare hanging out. And this is the space I have on my side. I am 5'11", as everybody loves knowing that the seat is all the way back, all the way down. I'm pretty comfortable right where I am, okay? Let's go eye level. That's my eye level right there. Really can't see anything past just a sliver of the uh, hood, not by much. Go all the way back. Now I'd like to take this time to show the auction sheet, showing you that this is a non-accident vehicle from mainland Japan. Please keep that in mind. Graded non-accident from the auctions up in mainland. All these other dealers out here can't tell you that on all their cars. We can for each one. Uh, and some will try to discredit this uh, auction sheet. Stop by, we'll explain why. All right, so this is a graded four from the auction with a C and C on the exterior interior. 
So it's a pretty good grade for this car, and it's going to be up here on the sun visor, on the driver's side, so you can see that for yourself. And we can help you decipher it if need be. Let's show you a couple other things before you go to the back seat. <clears throat> Excuse me. I need some water. Um, it does have an aftermarket uh, dash cam up there. And then on the right side, I'm just going to turn this off so there's a little less noise. But now that brings up the uh, beeping. So it's going to be beep when you have the door open. Uh, so underneath the uh, push start, and you, you don't have to have your foot on the brake uh, for the, uh, to turn it off. You just push it one time. Uh, this one right here, that's to control the illumination of your uh, dash at night. So you can uh, make it brighter or dimmer. Uh, your mirror controls. This guy hanging out right there, that's your ETC reader, electronic toll collector. That works like easy pass in the States if you're able to get the card for it for the expressway. And then all the way back here is your hood release. Please don't forget on the floor here, you do have your gas cover release. And then on the door panel, you have your door lock and window controls right there. Okay? Let's uh, go ahead and show you the, the back seat here. Okay. All right. So with the seat all the way back, all the way down about an inch away from the back seat to my knees, uh, nothing as far as storage on the back of the driver's seat, but you have pocket storage on the back of the passenger seat. As always, be careful what you put in there. You don't want to rip it on each side. Then a little bit of storage and cup holder on each door panel. It does have an armrest that comes down that does stay level, which I like. Okay. And then that is it. I thought there was something else I'm forgetting. Could be, but let's uh, keep moving forward and go to the back here. So here you have your rear space, uh, pretty nice. You do have this uh, privacy cover that can extend out, it goes right into there. But if you wanna take it out because they have to haul stuff, you're gonna pull up on those tabs and that's gonna give you some more uh, uh, space in the back. They will lay down flat, you'll have the whole space open. Okay? Let's go to the front here, we're gonna show you the engine compartment. Then we're gonna wrap this video up. All right, so there you go. This is a 1.5 liter uh, boxer engine, nice and clean. All right, and there you have it. 2010 Super Impreza wagon. What'd I say? Um, what'd I say? 76,000 kilometers on it, which again, about 47,000 miles. Military price is down to 4,800. With an additional military discount, we'll get it down to 4,600. Again, while you're here, please ask the information guy about on a lot discounts, and you will get a lower price on this. For now, the 4600 will include a two-year JCI. <clears throat> Excuse me. The um, the, the two-year JCI, the one-year bumper-to-bumper full warranty, the 2024 road tax, and a 10% sales tax is already included. Only thing on top will be your American insurance requirement. Whether you're going liability or full coverage, which is totally up to you, and we can assist you with that here. Touching on these warranties out here, real quick, yes, there are two-year warranties out here. However, they're not the best thing since sliced bread, so don't be fooled by them. Stop by, we'll explain why. But we do encourage you to shop around, go to the dealer, see what they have, check out the condition, mileage, and pricing of their vehicles, then stop by Johnny Z's car, let us show what we have, what our program's all about, and how we can assist you. We are definitely making a difference out here because we are different. One of the many reasons why we did win the Stars and Stripes, Best Specific Magazines, Best Place to Buy a Car, and Okinawa Award. Stop by, we'll show you why, like we have many, many others. Don't forget two ways to pay for it, U.S. dollars cash outright, or take advantage of 0% financing for 24 months. Either way, we're good to go. Please like and subscribe, and as always, thank you very much for watching. Take care. Hope to see you soon.